Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show, and we are back on our quest, back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed, press that subscription button and press like and comment below. Let me know how you're doing. Today we're going to be doing uh, Scoops Ahoy. Uh, it's I believe there's like a whole Netflix series out there. Obviously, there's there's a show called Stranger Things. It's very popular. Admittedly, I haven't really watched it. However, apparently they have an ice cream brand. Uh, from the show, as you can see, Netflix, you did. Netflix Scoops Ahoy, uh, USS Butterscotch. It is butterscotch ice cream, a salted caramel ribbon with a salted caramel ribbon and salted caramel chocolate. Apologies in advance. I took this off, by the way, for those of you who like to suggest that I'm doing the various stuff. Because one of you in the comments a while back, you're a little cray cray. But anywho, um, this has been f frozen, unfrozen, and refrozen, but we're going to jump into it. I bought butterscotch because we've done quite a few caramel things, but I actually probably like butterscotch a little better than caramel. So I thought we would buy uh, caramel. Who knows the difference between butterscotch and caramel? Put it down below. I believe it is regular sugar versus brown sugar. I could be wrong. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. How's everybody doing? Also, guys, I know my lights are a little off. I feel like I say this every three or four months. I'm trying some new things out. So this show might be a little darker. The next show might be a little brighter and so on and so forth till we get it right. I'm going to have to move again soon into a new location. So work with me. Work with me. Anyway, can you do it? Who's had this brand before? I feel like maybe one of you suggested this brand a while back. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Not bad. This is also... It's from the company Golden West Food Group. I'm not sure exactly who that is. First things first, decent vanilla to it. Not bad. It's definitely not the fat content I would like, but overall, it's not a bad taste to it. That butterscotch kind of comes in right away. It has like a smoky backside flavor. I like the way that tastes. It's really nice. I would say that the quality we're probably looking at like I'm thinking like that tier two it's like Briar's level so probably maybe a, I don't know maybe like 11% fat just above the 10% fat needed to be called ice cream has a nice creaminess to it as you get further down but again it's kind of lacking that fat, that fat content admittedly I don't really taste the caramel in it It has um, salted caramel chocolate. I don't really taste that. I mean, they do have chocolate shards in here, as you can kind of see. They do. And the caramel swirls. The caramel swirls are kind of lacking. I mean, they're there, but eh. They leave much to be desired. As you get further down, there's definitely more chocolate chips as, as it goes. You can see that butterscotch and caramel and the chocolate chips. You do it. I don't know. I mean, this is like, I would say, like I said, that, that second tier. It's not bad, but it's definitely not what I would call like a better quality ice cream in the sense of like the ingredients. You do it. I think it's more of like a, a gimmick thing for uh, Netflix. However, overall, I mean, it's not bad. Oh, I almost forgot. For the calorie conscious crowd, it's two and a half servings of 590 calories, 590. For 14 ounces, not quite a pint. So we're going to go ahead and just give it a rating. Um, scale of 1 to 10. Or scale one hundred ten point grade scale do it every time. Uh, for what it is, it's probably like a uh, like I said that second tier, maybe like your average tier. In other words, like Briars Turkey Hill level. Decent creaminess to it as you get further down. The chocolate chips are pretty good. The caramel swirls are definitely kind of lacking. I mean, they're in there. Don't get me wrong, as you can see, but you can't really taste it. it doesn't really overwhelm the chocolate.
It's got a good butterscotch flavor to it. Nice smokiness to it. Nice butterscotch flavor in general. Which I guess is the star of the show. So if we're basing off being called USS Butterscotch. For the tier it is. I might give it like an 84, 85. So let's say an 85. Like a solid B. Would I go out my way to get it? No. If you had it at your house and you offered it to me, would I eat it? Yeah, absolutely. Is it my favorite thing? By no means. But is it still pretty good? And does it live up to what it says here? I would say for the most part, it's definitely not overwhelmingly butterscotch or any other ingredient, but the butterscotch does stick out more than others. But anyway, you guys go out and check it out. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Always love talking to you guys. Also, while you're there, what did you think about the last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. I say that because it's often regional or seasonal or limited edition. I have trouble finding things sometimes, so I know you guys might. But if you get a chance to try them out, go in the comments of my prior episodes. Uh, comment. Love talking to you guys about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check the links below. Tell your friends, tell your family, come eat ice cream with every week. Big shout outs to Josh the Goat. Like I said, this is the Stranger Things Scoops Ahoy. Uh, it is the USS Butterscotch, the Butterscotch flavor. I'll give it like an 85 range. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to shut up now and I will see you next time. See you next time, guys.